And of course I missed that whole thing. Harley and Blue were playing as Harley and Blue do. Cash came to join and they all stopped. No more playing. Poor Cash. Poor Cash. You want your toy? You want your toy? Get your toy. Get that toy. I'm gonna get it. 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 Have I mentioned lately in my videos how much I hate this camera on the phone? Have I mentioned it lately? I still hate it. Get that toy. Get that toy. I go get it. I go get it. I go get it. I go get it. <coughs> Harley, we're in the house. We can't do that in the house. There are people still trying to sleep. There are people trying to sleep. Okay. I know. As soon as she wakes up, you can go cuddle with her. It's the final day. Final day to get someone to play cash. It's the final day. It's like, I'm trying. I'm trying. Get him, Blue! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Poor Cash! No one will play with him! Ready to come in. Blue, blue. Oh, he's still having fun. Everybody's still having fun? Huh? Is everybody having fun? Are they? Are you keeping cash in line? Are you doing that? Okay, Cash has had all he can handle of the cold. Blue thought Harley had come back, got very excited. Yes, he likes to hang out upstairs in the loft because it's warmer up there. I had to close my office doors. So, he gets that little space. That's all they get. That little space right there. And I don't know why, but I woke up at 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. Everybody went outside. Then I went and did some meditations. I think I fell asleep for a little while. But it's one of those days when I don't feel rested, and I'm not sure why I don't feel rested. <laughs> you just go stay out here for the rest of the day. Huh? You gonna stay out here for the rest of the day? It's so cute. She does go to the gate when she's ready. She barks and she goes to the gate when she's ready to come in. And I know she loves being out there, so that's why I have a fenced yard, so they can be out there. But here at the Bailey house, my fences aren't quite as secure 
as they are out on the big property. So in the back of my mind, there's always still that, what if they find some place to dig? Or they decide to dig? What if they decide to dig? And they go right under the deck or the fence that's around it. So, Harley does not have that personality. I'm way more relaxed with her being out there. <laughs> you silly boy. And yeah, they just won't play with me. I try and I try. I try. Just won't play. And I just want to cuddle. That's all I want to do. Would you just sit down in one place and hold me? Hold me. Hold me too. I want to be held. I'm not any bigger than Blue. That's your imagination. You're a silly human. You don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play with my boy a little bit. Are you ready to come in yet? You ready to come inside? I love you so much. Okay, I now I've decided. I'm on I'm on a Burmese mountain dog. I want one of these. I want a Harley. I love dogs that can handle the Winter Colorado weather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you know of anyone who needs a home? Hmm? They can guard my property. Yeah. Okay, not guard, because I'd be scared to death something would get them. But during the day... Oh, look, I see hair stuck to the snow. Is that why you're not at the fence? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> you sweet girl. I know. Look at all this. Look at How'd that get there? How'd that get there? I see snow. It's your fuzz. It's your fuzz. I know. I know. Now Cash is going to be jealous. Cash is going to get jealous. Yes. I see you've been digging up frozen poop again. You're so silly. That is definitely intentional. I'm going back in. Are you coming? Harley. Harley, you want to come? Come on. You ready? Let's go. No. Okay. <laughs> 
It's almost time for lunch treats anyway. I'll let her play. Oh, I think it's starting to come in real good now. I don't know if you can see it. I got frostbite on my fan on my hand already. What up, Lulu? What up, Cash? Okay, Harley says she doesn't want to come in yet. So while it's starting to feel like spring up here where I'm still organizing for spring, still I st I'm still going through or finding Thanksgiving. Trying to take care of Christmas, which of course I do solstice. So my solstice doesn't get put up until March. Winter Wonderland. And you know what? The snow. This, what it looks like outside, that doesn't stop until after March either. Oh, look who's just out there loving life. <laughs> See, not only is she in the snow. See, I'm in the shade in the snow. I know how you feel sometimes, girlfriend. I get that way. Wake up sweating, still. I don't think my hormones have ever been balanced, and I don't think they ever will be. I'm just glad they no longer control my brain. That's wonderful. I'm not doing things because I feel sorry for them anymore. I'm not doing things <laughs> for other things because they're playing on my sympathies and winning. I'm going to vacuum now. Oh, because... And that didn't record. So... I was just saying, right, Lou? Crumblies. It's treat time, day, whatever, but I'm doing them up in the loft because downstairs is too many distractions. Hey, I got in a hurry with the first batch. I overfilled them. But that's what I was saying. The little, oh, yes. And see, all of this, I still need to get my spring repotting done. I've got my fire kindling. Uh tubes because in the spring out there it gets quite chilly my glamping tent I can actually put a wood burning stove in it it has the hole and the protective sheet whatever thingy from the bobber uh, just didn't know if I would want to have it up and use it for that coming into this spring after an entire season wishing I had that darn tent up. Yeah, it's going up and I'm getting the wood stove because I want to camp out and I will feel very comfortable and secure in a 17 foot glamping tent with a wood burning stove for warmth on those super chilly spring nights which anyone who's ever been in the Rocky Mountains in the spring knows. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our spring and a southern spring are two completely different springs. There they are, aren't they adorable? This batch is um, some unsweetened canned applesauce that nobody liked, so I inherited it and uh, of course I stockpiled pumpkin during the pumpkin season so there's pumpkin in there there's the super fibers I got some oats that and yes I this is how I do it because this is when it gets cooked <laughs> 
I put the oats into the ingredients. I let all that applesauce moisture and pumpkin moisture, I let the oats soak it up. And I don't know if you can see the steam, but you know, there's still quite a bit of evaporation. It has to remain moist or I can't squeeze it into the forms. But there's always a little bit of flour added just enough to make it the right consistency. And it all depends on which variety of canned dog food happens to be used. Um, so they think that, you know, they're being spoiled rotten, but they're really only getting the food they were supposed to get anyway. So, yeah, that's why I do them. I do them for that reason. This is not something that's in addition to the food they should be eating. This is a midday after school, whatever it is, somewhere between those two meals, meal or food or calories or sustenance, you know, especially if they have had an active day, which I try to always provide while they're in my care. Beautiful. Um, anyway, so if anyone ever has, I mean, if you've got canned food and you've had a pup pass and you would like to donate it to my little venture in life, I will accept it most graciously. Um, won't need the kibble. That's the thing. See, I, I only use it to make the dog treats so that, you know, they're very minimally processed, but at least whatever processing is going on was freshly done and very limited. You know, I mean, I don't know what's in the flour other than ground up grains. Well, in this case, it's oat flour. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure this is either rice or gluten-free. I can't remember. They were both white and I didn't label them. My bad. So here's one of the little secrets that I've gleaned while using this. Yeah, another one of those cute little gadgets that you're like, oh, that would be so much fun. And then as soon as you've done a couple of batches, you're like, oh my gosh, this is such a pain. I'd rather just, I mean, I could make logs, just straight logs, piped the same. I mean, just, I could put them in my convection oven <laughs> and, you know, the dogs wouldn't care because it's, they don't, they don't care about shapes and colors and You know, they just, all they care about is ingredients. That's all they care about, ingredients. What's in it? And do I like it? And, yeah. They like this stuff. So, basically, yeah, this is my... My way of showing love through food. <laughs> this is how I show love through food. Like my granny. My granny shows love through food. Of course, it was generally excessive amounts of food. So. I love with intent. And my intent is to have them have long, abundant, happy, healthy lives. You won't turn into flat, 
fat blobs that don't even get up to announce the UPS man anymore. I mean, that's what I love working with dogs and doing. I love to let them know that basically they just have to announce, you know, we're not, we're not wanting to scare the FedEx guy away or, you know, whoever is visiting. We're not wanting to scare the visitors away. We're just wanting to announce that they are indeed here. So we better get to the door. That's and I haven't met a dog yet that I couldn't teach that to that, you know, if it was backed up behavior. In other words, every human said, okay, I believe this dog can do that, so I'm going to let it do it. And, you know. I'm not going to ruin this perfectly wonderful dog by doing things that I might do. Okay. Eep. So there they are. Yeah, that one's going to spill over, I can tell. And it's put a little bit on me. Add a little bit on you. Oh, look, that's a whole bean. Yes, there are beans in these streets. You have a variety of different protein, amino acid variables. It's a variety. It's a rainbow biscuit for puppies, of course. Rainbow biscuits for puppies. They need to eat their rainbows, too. I gotta quit playing with the food. Yeah, this that'll be done. That won't even have been started. So now, as soon as I get the goo, I cannot tell you how many washcloths I go through. But, I can say this. There is no way anyone could ever convince me that using paper towels would be better for the econ the, yeah, for the world. You can't, no. Nope. Do you know how many washcloths it takes to finally make a load? And especially if they're this kind of washcloth, where it's just to get goo off of you, you don't care it's fit stained. You don't care. So, you can let them dry in the sun. If you let them dry in sunlight, sunlight in and of itself, by its very being, kills bacteria. The original all-purpose antibacterial sunlight. Oh my God, it didn't record. So... There's the next batch that I just thought I recorded pulling out and how in the time it took for them to be ready for that, I got this entire room vacuumed. No more hair, no more dirt, no more flour and crumbs from treats. But every time I put treats, I get a new pile up here. Okay. Not quite. Not yet. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's 
go get the ones I already made. Step on. I just ran upstairs. Get back down here, Harley. 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 Get back down here. I don't think my baby fence would stop you. I'll put up that one instead. Nope, that's it. All gone. That's all. That's all. Three for the big ones and one divided into three for the baby. Yeah. Well, that will tide you over until dinner. Yes, it will. It will tide you over until dinner. So, I am very happy to announced that Cash, after four years of driving back and forth, back and forth with them, as soon as we exited the evergreen exit, his fear quivering shifted. It didn't go away. It shifted. He recognized that we were, I mean, the whole, we're going home. And what that meant apparently seemed to click. And all of a sudden, that tail that had been tucked as far between those legs as they possibly could get, because he just hates being in the car. It went straight out and had a wag, a full-on wag. He knew where he was, and where he was was close to home. He was on his way home. Home finally clicked. <laughs> or, you know, the whole thing. It finally clicked. So, for the rest of the way, he was... He had exchanged anxious energy for excited energy in as much as he could since, you know, he was still in the car. And that's just not going to bless his little heart. He just doesn't like to be moving unless it's under his own power. taxes this year. Yes, that means I made 
more money, but was it worth it to make extra money just to give it away to an irresponsible government that expects me to be fiscally, fiscally responsible? I have a problem with that. I know I can't be the only one. 